welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a paleo healthy banana and walnut muffins. That's a mouthful. I made these last week and I literally, oh, sorry about the bell. That's my little kitten in the background. But I wanted to show you guys the recipe because I posted a photo on Instagram and you guys wanted to see the recipe. So yeah, I'm going to show you a super healthy and super easy banana walnut muffin recipe. And I hope you guys are excited because they taste ace. So yeah. Let's get on to it. So first things first, you're going to need some ripe brown bananas. I only have two kind of smallish ones here. So I reckon that might get me like eight muffins if I'm lucky. If you want to make like 12 or a bigger batch, I'd probably use like 12. Okay, I'm going to go take the bell off my cat because that is so annoying. <laughs> Come here. Lucky you're cute, but that bell is very annoying. Alright, where were we? So technically you should have your oven on right now. I would put it at like 180 degrees for 15 minutes. My oven is super loud because it's like really old. So I didn't want to have it on because it literally is the loudest buzzing sound ever. So I'm going to just make the muffins and then preheat the oven and you get the gist. But anyway, you need two bananas. This is the longest intro ever. And you just need to mash them in a bowl. You can chuck them in like a blender or something if you can't really be bothered, but they should be super like squishy because they're old. <laughs> so I'm just going to chuck these in a bowl and then get your trusty potato masher, which is now officially a banana masher. And you're going to mash these up just until they're like super creamy, I suppose. I don't know another way to describe it. I'll show you guys when I'm, when I'm done. <laughs> So you kind of just need like, yeah, like a creamy kind of consistency. You mix that up and then I'm just going to add two eggs into the mix. If you're vegan, you can add like a flax eat, flax eat, a flax egg or yeah, I don't really know many other. And then for the other wet ingredients, you need some rice malt syrup. If you don't have rice malt syrup, you can use like maple syrup or honey or something but this is like a natural sweetener like it doesn't have any added sugars or anything in it well neither does maple syrup but like maple syrup is high in sugar whereas rice milk syrup is a natural sweetener so I like to use this so we're just going to put two tablespoons in a mug I always heat things in the microwave I see I'm like the laziest person ever and I think that's the easiest way of doing it but you can always heat it on the stove if you're not a lazy poo and then you're also going to have coconut oil oh i bought this yesterday so it's not even open yet <laughs> um, we're going to put another two two tablespoons of that in the mix as well and you're just going to heat that in the microwave until it's all like melted together. I usually heat it for like 30 seconds or so. Alright, so now that the rice malt syrup and coconut oil is melted, you just want to put that in the same bowl as the banana. And that's all your wet ingredients done. So now you're going to start adding your dry ingredients. So for this one you need coconut flour, you don't need coconut flour if you don't, if you're not gluten free or paleo or anything you can always use oatmeal blended up to like oat flour or you can use normal, any kind of flour you like <laughs> but I'm going to go in with half a cup of that into my mix I kind of just like guess until the consistency looks like about right so I may add more in later, but for the sake of videos, I try and like actually use estimate, like actually use measurements. <laughs> but yeah, we'll add that and then we're going to put a teaspoon of baking powder in the mix as well. We're going to add a little dash of pink Himalayan salt. Some cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I put cinnamon in literally everything. It's super good for weight loss as well. Then I'm going to go in with some vanilla protein powder. 
You don't need protein powder for this recipe, but I never have vanilla essence. I really need to get it because I literally need it in every recipe and then I never have it. But I like using vanilla protein powder because it has like a vanilla -y flavor and it makes um, baking stuff taste really good. But if you don't have vanilla protein and you have vanilla essence, I would recommend just using that. So I'm going to add probably like two scoops of that in there. And also, I'm going to add some coconut sugar in there as well. I only just recently bought this, but so far so good. I never used to add any sort of sugar to my baking, but this is like a natural sugar, so it's okay to use. I'm just going to put like two teaspoons. Yeah, that should be enough. They're pretty sweet because of the banana. You honestly don't need any sugar whatsoever. But if you have like a sweet tooth, then it's a good alternative. We're just going to mix that together. And the last ingredient, which is like vital in my opinion, is walnuts. You can just make it banana muffins, but I love banana and walnut, walnut muffins. There's just, there's something about it. It's so good. So I'm just going to add some walnuts. I can't even open it. I have like coconut oil in all over my hands. Nuts are really high in fat, so they're going to keep you fuller for longer. This muffin in general is like going to keep you super satisfied because of the protein, the coconut flour, which also has a lot of protein and fat, and then the walnuts have fat as well, so it's just like a, it's a hearty little snack. <laughs> so we're just going to mix all that in, and yeah, we basically have our muffin mixture. It smells so good. You can't go past banana and walnuts. <laughs> So these are the finished muffins guys, I'm so excited to eat them, it made 8 in total so yeah if you want to make more then you'll probably just need like 1 or 2 extra ripe bananas but yeah I'll leave the recipe down below for you guys if you want to like screenshot it or something but if you guys do make these muffins please tweet me or snapchat me or instagram dm me or something because I'd love to see if you guys make these, they are honestly delicious and they're guilt free because there's no sugar, there's no grains, there's no dairy like it's all just all goodness and amazing and they taste amazing so yeah I definitely recommend you guys trying them out but my camera is flashing and it's 6 p.m. at night so it is super dark in here right now but if you guys like the video please give it a big thumbs up for me please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you guys are new to my channel and want to subscribe and yeah I'll see you guys in my next one bye